Welcome to Top 10 Epic Lists. Today we gonna talk about 10 shocking electrocution deaths. Before we start make sure subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for notification. Every week we publish three or more amazing lists packed with as many new facts as possible. No more talking and let's go to the list. Electrocution is a horrible way to die. Cell phones. Science experiments, tasers, faulty wires, and even ordinary outlets can be delivery systems for shocking deaths. Accidental electrocution fatalities are common, and homicides involving electrical torture occur with terrifying frequency. Sometimes, electricity is even used as a murder weapon. Number 1. Cell phone on a killing. 17-year-old Amin Demirtash was electrocuted to death by her brother for using a cell phone without his approval. According to Qasem Demirtash, 29, he developed suspicions his sister was using mobile to meet new people. He asked for the phone repeatedly and demanded the passcode so that he could read her messages. When she refused, Qasem tortured and electrocuted her to death. Their father was arrested along with Qasim for encouraging the brutality. Nearly 300 women are killed by domestic violence each year in Turkey. Honor killings are common, and activists believe that many go unreported as suicides. The murder took place in Batman, Turkey, between 1995 and 2006. At least 71 women committed suicide in the conservative city. Murders in which a woman's family kills her following the shameful act are illegal in Turkey. However, officials often look the other way and judge hand out light sentences. Number 2, Cuck Old Killer. In 2014, the body of Choa Chu Kang was discovered in Malaysia's Sungai Gedong camp. Maggots seethed through the badly decomposed corpse. His hands were bound and his t shirt was pulled up to his neck. His scalp was damaged and his eyes missing. The autopsy revealed that he died from blunt force trauma to the head and face. Chia Ki Chen, 55, was charged with the murder. Prosecutors believe the feud developed over an affair between Kang and Chen's wife. The relationship was broken off. However, a New Year's text message triggered a rampage. Chen and two accomplices assaulted Kang in a parking lot and forced him into the back of a van. They tied him up and electrocuted him. They then beat Kang to death before dumping his body. Chen's longtime friend Chua Leong Aik, 66, and business partner February Iwansha DJ Atmiko have also been charged with the murder. Number 3, Copper Theft Gone Wrong, in 2015. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office received a report of a dead body near Highway 221. The deceased was Charles Chip Rydenor. The coroner's report revealed the 39-year-old died from electrocution. Warrants were issued for David Wade, 43, and Robert Brown, 52. Georgia authorities believe the two, along with Rydenor, were trying to steal copper wire from the tops of power poles. The pair has been charged with felony murder, concealing a death, and theft by taking. At the time of his death, Rydenor was on probation for stealing an air conditioning unit. Copper theft is an epidemic. Estimates report that the business of illegal copper is worth $1 billion a year. It remains valuable as scrap because of its uses in fiber optics, plumbing, and nearly all electrical gadgets. As a tangible asset, it is extremely hard to trace. Thieves will go nearly anywhere to find the precious metal. Number 4. Sexual Jealousy Slaughter Last summer, Indian police discovered the naked remains of Alka Kamari in her family home in Amisha. The coroner's report revealed that the 25-year-old was a victim of a homicide. First, she was strangled. Then her breasts and genitals were electrocuted. She was violated with a two-foot sword. Before electrical current was sent through it, burning her internal organs. Police believed the saying was motivated by sexual jealousy. They discovered a note reading, I miss you. Cold beverages were sitting in the room where her body found. The police also discovered a mobile phone, missing a SIM card. 
cash, gold, and silver ornaments were taken. However, investigators believe this was to give the perception of a robbery and throw them off the real killer's trail. The brutality of the murder suggests a person with a personal connection to Alka. Five years before her murder, Alka was married. It lasted only days. Number 5. Sex Tape Murder-Suicide In January, Virginia police discovered the naked body of Kim Yoon on the basement floor of an Annandale home. She was handcuffed to a clothed 73-year-old man. When authorities approached, the man wrapped an electrical cord around his wrist and began to convulse. The cord was connected to an all jammed into a circuit breaker, an improvised electrocution device. Yun, 56, was pronounced dead at the scene. The unidentified man was taken into custody and hospitalized. Police traced Yun's cell phone to the Annandale residence. Knocks went unanswered, but they discovered the grisly scene by peeking through the basement window. Investigators discovered a note, which indicated that the man wanted to kill Yun and take his own life. There was also a DVD sex tape of the couple. There was no indication that Yun was abducted. However, her death is being investigated as a homicide. The motive remains a mystery. Number 6. Don't try this at home. A 15-year-old Ohio boy was electrocuted to death recreating a YouTube video. Morgan Wojciechowski was attempting the Jacob's Ladder experiment, which involves a high-voltage arc of electricity traveling between two points, frequently wires. The high school freshman's parents were alerted to the trouble when they heard a lot of noise coming from the garage. Emergency crews were dispatched but it was too late. Morgan was pronounced dead shortly after arriving at the hospital. Investigators discovered a microwave battery pack attached to an electrical outlet via multiple extension cords. Jumper cables from the battery pack connected with wire hangers believed to be the points where electricity would travel. The Wojciechowski family was aware of Morgan's experiments. However, they are unaware of which video prompted him to recreate the fatal experiment. Jacob's Ladder displays can be found at museums and science centers. They are dangerous and should not be trifled with at home. Number 7. Electropedophile The body of Sonia Pei was discovered in the undergrowth near a Strunaway Industrial Park. The autopsy revealed the seven-year-old South African girl had been raped before she was electrocuted to death. Sonia was abducted while sneaking out with a friend to buy snacks from a local shop. A joint force of police and locals began the search. Specialized canine search and rescue units combed the cemeteries and alleys. A mob of 200 New Brighton residents, mostly women, chased the man who allegedly abducted, raped, and electrocuted Sonia Pei. They pelted him with stones and beat him. Police had to intervene. According to the vigilantes, the man had been pretending to be deaf and was spotted playing with children near where Sonia was abducted. Residents were immediately suspicious, as the man was not a local. When questioned he doubled down on his deaf act and escaped, leaving his false teeth behind. Number 8. iPhone Horror In 2014, the charred body of Wu Wen Yuan was discovered bed next to a broken iPhone 4S. The phone's screen was smashed, and the 18-year-old Xinjiang resident was not breathing. The coroner's report revealed electrocution marks on her neck, hands, and left foot. The cause of death was electrocution from the cell phone's electrical leakage. Investigators determined the phone had been plugged into a knockoff charger, which might have caused the electrocution. This is not the only time an iPhone has electrocuted someone to death. In 2015, Evagina Sviridenko was killed when she dropped her cell phone into the bath. The 24-year-old Moscow resident had been looking at her social media page when the plugged-in phone hit the water. Sviridenko's roommate discovered her pale and floating. Her skin was still quaking from the electrical shock. 
Investigators believe that an off-brand charger was likely responsible for Sviridenko's cell phone electrocution death, number 9, a spy's death in Cairo, in early 2016, the body of Giulio Regeni, 28, was found in a ditch in the outskirts of Cairo. The Cambridge PhD student had been missing for two weeks. The autopsy revealed a brain hemorrhage, seven broken ribs, and electrocution to his penis. He had also been sliced with a razor, bludgeoned, and repeatedly kicked and punched. The tops of both ears had been lobbed off, and multiple finger and toenails had been ripped off. Regeni was most likely killed as a suspected spy. The Italian grad student had been studying Egyptian trade unions. He wrote several articles critical of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi's administration. Three Egyptian security officials revealed Regeni had been taken into custody. All three confirmed that he had triggered red flags due to his research project and contact with the leftist April 6 movement and the Islamist Muslim Brotherhood, both considered enemies of the Number 10, Cocaine and Teases. In February 2015, Florida police tasked Calvin Reed to death. Winmore Retirement Community residents called authorities and indicated that Reed, 39, had been injured and needed medical attention. After Reed refused the officer's help, they tasked him multiple times in the chest. Witnesses recall hearing Reed cry, I can't breathe, and they are going to kill me. Reed's death was ruled a homicide and led to the abrupt retirement of the Coconut Creek police chief. Initially, investigators kept information regarding Reed's death a secret. Three of the four officers involved had let their taser certifications lapse. The autopsy revealed that recent cocaine use exacerbated Reed's condition. However, complications of an electromuscular disruption device was the cause of death. Cocaine has been linked to taser fatalities in the past. In most cases, cocaine is listed as